Organizing contacts into groups is a great way for inviting people to an event, sending out a form letter, or even printing reports. Now you could put just a regular field on the layout and organize people into one group. They're either in this group or that group. But I like doing a portal. When you add a table and allow people to be added to multiple groups, then you can search for them and add them to many groups. Really helpful when you're trying to organize your contacts and say, hey, I want to go ahead and invite these people every year to the Christmas party. You just go ahead and do a search for the group Christmas party. And if you want to add somebody, you just go to the portal and you add one. It's really easy to do. So let's go into Manage Database and do this really simple feature. It's not hard to do. It's kind of a letdown from what we've done before. We did some very complicated things with reminders, but I think the value here in this one is is very useful. It's the idea on this one. So we'll come in here and make a groups table. I'll just duplicate the notes, change it. We'll need a foreign key for contacts. Call this groups ID. and go into options, put GRO, change that to the name, and we're pretty much ready to go. There's nothing else we need to do except create the relationship. So we'll pull this down here as an anchor just in case. Move everything down. I'll select all, move down a little bit, duplicate this, double click on it. The faster you can do this stuff, the faster you can get done groups underscore contacts, click OK, move it up there, open it up, K of contacts, 2KP contacts, double click on it, verify, it's the right key fields, allow and delete. And we're not going to do any sorting here, although it could, you might want to sort it alphabetically by name, that might be a good idea, just so they all kind of appear in the same order. There we go. Now we're done with the table. All we need is a new tab. And I'm going to call this one miscellaneous because we're going to put a few things underneath it. Create that miscellaneous. And we're going to draw ourselves a portal right here. And I, I decide whether to draw it from scratch or not because it's not going to be the full length because there's going to be many things in there. And I'm thinking I'm going to draw it from scratch. It should turn out just fine. So we'll come over here, draw in our groups. There we go, go down to groups contacts, allow vertical scrolling. We already got it sorting, so we don't have to worry about that. Move in the name. We don't need really the timestamp in there. I don't think that's going to help us out. Just need to know that they belong to the group. And let's decide how big the group is. That's pretty big. That's probably going to handle most things. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. Leave enough room for a delete button because you might want to take somebody out of the group. There we go, got it in there. Let's put a nice little label up there. And remember to align this to the left side. Make that a little bit bigger for what I'm going to type. Groups. And I think let's check what this size is here. This is nine point and underline. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Underline and nine point. There we go, looks pretty good. Move that down a little bit. I think that's about the same. Now all we need to do is put in a delete button and a pop-up menu. So we'll come in here, do a pop-up menu, put in groups, use custom values, and I'll say Christmas party charity drive and let's see what else you might do here you might uh, in have them in the group of financial consultants who knows anything can go in here now I've chosen to do a custom value list not because I think it's better than a values from a field you might want values from a field all depends on how many groups and how how often they're changing so I would use a custom value list if it's not going to change very often and you don't need the users to change it. And I would use a table if you want users to add values to it and it will change a lot. I definitely do not recommend 
allow editing of value list right here. Do not check that because that's going to give the people the power to make mistakes. They're going to go into that value list to edit it not knowing what's happening. They're going to change one of the values and they're going to think it changes all the existing values and all the records. They're going to add to it, delete. They'll just mess the whole thing up, at least with the table. If you want users to edit it, with the table you can control what they can do. You can tell them you can validate entry. You can make sure they don't put spaces at the end of entries. You can't. You can prevent them deleting. You have all kinds of control. So, but here I'm just doing something simple because we've done all that stuff already. So we'll come in here and find ourselves a delete. I'll copy that to the clipboard manually with the keyboard equivalent. Paste it in there. That looks good. Double click on it. Delete group groups. Plural. Okay. Go in here and make sure that it hides in the right situation. Come right over here to groups contacts. Get the primary key. Same thing over and over again. And we should be ready to go. I think this is good. I think we've got all the features here we need. We'll find out when we go to browse mode. Go over to miscellaneous. And we'll pop this up. We see the charity drive. We see the Christmas party. We can add them to multiple groups. No problem. I can go to somebody else and also add them to the Christmas party and maybe they're a financial consultant. So you can see how now we can go into find mode anytime we want and now we won't, haven't allowed finding by that so we don't have the ability to do a find on it but we can add a feature specifically for that or we can say let's open up those tabs. It's up to you which way you want to do it. I'm going to opt probably to make a little groups pop-up menu appear here. So let's cancel this. Go into layout mode. Go to our miscellaneous, copy that to the clipboard, come over here now, remember what happens when we hit find, all this area appears here so we can put it right behind here. So go and paste it right in there, only allowed to show up in find mode, so not in browse mode, and we'll make a get window mode equals one. There we go. Got get win mode equals one, apply and find mode. That's good for that. So we can make that a find and then we just need a little label on it. So I'll double click on it, create the label, put group on it. I'll probably group these together. And then what I'll do is I'll take this whole tab control, remember the location. That's going to be 15259. Move that out of the way. Move this to right up there. And let's see if I can get that lined up. One more pixel over. There you go. 152 and make it stay over on the right side. That looks good. I'm happy with that. Put this back at 15259. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and lock this stuff in the back background here, and that's probably a good idea to do. And you can see I've selected that mask there. I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and command or control drag. And we'll go up here and lock it. And then hopefully I remember this is 15, 251. I think I got that right. Only problem I have is I want to send this stuff to the back. So I'm going to come in here, unlock it for a second send it to back and then lock it. Let's see how it works. We'll go to browse mode. Hopefully we haven't forgotten anything or we'll have to tear that apart again. And let's see, so I didn't quite get the tab in the right place. So easy enough to remember how to do that. Let's go over to my company's form and see where that's located. 15259. So I got it off by nine. No problem. Let's go to 259 and we'll be set to go. There we go. Browse mode. Hit find. And for some reason that's not showing up. So let's see what the problem is here. Now I'm going to go into layout mode. It's probably just a, some type of mistake I made. And it looks like somehow um, I, I'm in contacts. What happened to our field? It seems to have disappeared. We've got a mystery. So where did it go? Did it go to one of these tabs? Sometimes that's what happens. I don't see it. Oh, you know what it did? 
it went behind the mask. So it's right in here. There we go. Arrange, unlock, and we'll just bring it forward till it's on top of that. There we go. Now we've got it in the right spot. Now we can lock it. It's all about figuring out your problems. Not about, you know, making mistakes. It's about figuring out what you did. So 15, 259. That should be much better. Let's go to browse mode. Hit find. Our group's not showing up again. So what's the problem here? We've got yet another problem. I think what happened is it's uh, showing up inside of that uh, tab control. That's the only thing I can think of. And oh, you know what? It didn't. Got, I thought I moved it on top, but I guess I didn't. I think that's what the problem is. So we'll move this yet once again. And I seem to do this quite a bit. Well, I can see it's on top of there. So why is it not showing up? So let's go ahead and unlock it and see what the form. Is. So the hide object when is not showing up on there. I must have done it just on this label. So I'm going to apply. It, I'm going to ungroup it. And we'll see what we have. Yeah, I just applied it to one of them, probably get window mode, mode equals one. Well, maybe it's get window mode equals zero. That's when we want to hide it, right? Copy it, add it to this. There, finally, I think I got it. And I'm going to get smart this time. I'm going to group it, go to browse mode before I move everything back, go to find mode. And we do see it appear now, and I can click into it. So now I do know it works. So I've I've gotten smarter over the years a little bit, I guess. Let's see, 15, 259. I remember that, hopefully. 15, 259. And we'll try it one more time. Hit the Find button. That Groups Find shows up there. I can say Find Christmas Party, hit Continue. And you can see I find the two people we assigned it to. So we really got exactly what we want here. Uh, we're really happy with the results here. So a groups feature, not hard to implement, but very helpful when you're trying to find groups of contacts.